good result. Yeah, great result. Um, you know, we felt last week we could have got something at Tiverton. We were very unlucky. We went 2-1 up and uh, we've been working very hard in training. And um, obviously with that cup win in the week, it gave us a bit of impetus to come here today. And, and uh, I think the, the guys thoroughly deserved their victory. What was the most pleasing aspect today? Could Considering how difficult the conditions were, um, from a personal point of view, I thought we defended very positively, if you know what I mean. We, we weren't messing about, it was good, clean, decisive defending. Well, I think it was all 11 players, um, plus the, you know, the subs, everyone together. And I think that's what we're trying to bring to the club, that everybody's together. You know, if the, the tea lady performs well and our centre forward performs well, the whole club performs well. And today all 11 players put in their shift. It was quite an impressive game as well, considering the conditions. Both sides who, I don't think you'd tell that they were both at the foot of the table, the way they played the football. Both teams stuck to their tasks. Very, very exciting game. Yeah, very exciting game. We wanted to play football from the start. Um, we would like to play football through midfield. Um, we like to mix our play up. We wanted to get players forward. I think Swindon also uh, had a, an attacking philosophy today. It made for a great game. I suppose uh, key moments of the game. Louis pulled off a couple of brilliant saves. I mean, one handy save which he actually held. That was a tremendous save right near the death as well. Yeah. And then a couple of opportunities where we weren't, weren't quite clinical enough to finish the game off. You must have had your, your heart <laughs> in your hands and something. Yes. Uh, Louis pulled off a great save, especially at the end there. Had a great game, but that's his job. His job is to make saves. Um, and I think the defenders all defended well, stoutly. That's their job and they did it well. And yeah, we put a couple of chances away. We could have had more. I felt on the break there, um, second half, we could have had a few more goals. Um, but, you know, on, on this, in these conditions, it's, it's not easy. Were you a little bit concerned about the lack of possession second half? Or was that part of the game plan to actually try and hit Swindon Supermarine on the break? Because we've got pace up front. That's one thing we've got in abundance. Yep, we wanted to, to play on the break a little bit and um, we wanted to play quickly. Um, unfortunately, getting the ball down in these conditions isn't easy. I maybe played it a little bit too much in the air in the second half, but ultimately the idea was to, to, to play faster and to, and to break quick. So our next game, I think we've been confirmed we do play Hendon now on Yes, <clears throat> Hendon on Tuesday. Uh, we're two wins now from the last two. Um, defensively as well. Um, we've only conceded two goals in the last two and a half games, um, so things have tightened up. We're looking forward to going to Hendon, which is my uh, old stomping ground as well, where, where, where I'm from. So yeah, we're looking forward. We got, uh, we're going to bring a lot of um, energy and a lot of uh, perseverance there. The boys seem very happy with that win. Do you think it's a big win for morale as much as actual? You know, let's get down to it. Three points are huge today. There's good players at Staines uh, and good people. Good people running the club, good people uh, behind the scenes. Uh, players appreciate a lot of what the work they do. Players are putting a lot of work and effort, haven't always got what they deserved. Today they did, that's why they're really happy. So am I. Mm -hmm.